Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Amel, and in this material UI video tutorial, we will learn about the box. Till now, we learn about the uh, button, slider, switch, and uh, you can see that the radio buttons and check boxes. These are the input components. Now we are learning about the layout components. So box is one of the layout components. It cannot take any input from the user like input box and slider and checkbox. It will just help us to manage the layout. So for example, we have a button and we just want to uh, put some margin and padding kind of things around a button. That time we can use a box. How we can use it? We will understand in the example. But before that, we can just see the points of the video. We will see that what is the use of a box then uh, we will import the box with the button why i also use import the button with the box also because uh, this is only a layout uh, component as i told you so uh, we will use the css and all so for that uh, how it's actually managing the things with the button and an input elements we have to import any element and button i think this is the best for use that's why i use the button with that then we will see that how we can just create an element with the box like div span and other like table and all how we can use the style and how we, we can use the margin and padding with the box also right so first thing is that what is the box so as i just written here this is a basically a wrapper component right and mostly used for the css utilities so for example we have a button and we just want to manage the style around it like padding margin and width and all so we, we basically use the uh, div tag a p tag or span tag but material ui suggests that we can use the box and uh, it will just uh, manage the ui of around the button as well as it will also can directly change the style and uh, margin of the button also i will show you that we will apply some style on the box and it will automatically apply on the button also right so now let's get started let's open the app.js and, and import the things just write here import something from and just simply write here uh, iterate material core and just write here box as well as let just uh, import the button also right so first of all let's just use the button so that i will show you that uh, what uh, kind of output it will produce in the html and then we will use the box also so just right here click me right and now you can see that in html we got a button here right in the button we have some some uh, some other elements also like uh, span and uh, uh, some classes and so also but these are not useful for a moment so let's look out only the button right we have a button so let's say I just want to make a div around it so I can do the two things one I can just simply use a div second thing I can just simply use a box so just simply make a box here and now put air button now you can see that we got a div around the box right uh, around the button here you can see that right and now it's inside, inside it we have a button that's great so let's say if you don't need any div and you just want uh, any uh, you can say that a span and all right so just use a span just use a component and just put it span and now the tag div will convert it in the span let's see it uh, 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 root then we have an app and here we have a span and inside the span we have a button all right that's great so uh, now box actually provide a special functionality that we can just uh, apply some style and margin and padding on a box and it can be automatically applied on the button right how we can do it for that we have to use a clone property also so just I use here clone and now I am just going to put here style and uh, then I can just simply put here 
uh, color and it can be like red and whatever we want now let's come back here and now you can see that we got a red color here right but when i put a clone property you can see that there is a no span or a div tag uh, around the button right this is due to the clone button actually this clone button is uh, just uh, make the clone of ourselves and apply on the button if i just remove the clone then you can see that we have a, a button here and we have a span also but now uh, it will just change the color of the span not the inner button that's why we have to use a clone here when we use the clone we don't need to use the component type right and uh, let's say you just want to put uh, some margin also so then this is very easy then you can just simply use here margin like three and uh, you will see that we got a margin on the all sides like this right and let's put here a large value so that we can see it very clear right it have the margin on the all around side right here right so that's all about that how uh, here you can see that we got the margin right? so if you still have any kind of confusion to using the box then you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care